So somebody asked me, how thin do I make my bazooka mud for running the bazooka? So I thought I would just show you that real quick. I'm, I'm hoping you can see me okay. Uh, I'll probably zoom in a little bit more and, and detach the camera. Uh, detach the camera when I'm when I'm showing you this. But so I'm gonna I've got some mud here. I'm gonna thin it down just a hair. Uh, it's I thinned it down a little bit already because I used it for corner beef. I did, don't like to just take it right out of the box for the two one corner beef. Uh, so I'm just gonna thin it down just a little bit more and then I'll show you the consistency of it. Now understand every box of mud is different. They are just not that consistent. Sometimes I open a box, it's pretty heavy. Other times I open the box, it's very thin. I've taken boxes, opened them up, and just, just mixed them up, and they were almost too thin for first coat corner bead. Other times, I'm adding, you know, a full pan of water to it, and it's still too thick. So every box is gonna be different. You can't just use a formula. You just gotta feel the difference. move my camera so you can see what I'm doing here. See if you can see this. Yes, you should be able to see this. So, wow, I wonder why that went upside down on me. There we go. So, I'll pull out just a little bit more. It's a little thick still. I can, I can feel it with my, uh, my paddle. I can feel it. Now that feels good. That, that's feeling very good. So if you can see it, it's, it is dripping, but it's still got a little bit of consistency to it. It's going to stick to the tape some. Um, but this is another thing that I, another way to test it to see how, if it's thin enough or thick enough or, you know, you don't want it too thick. You don't want it too thin. So, so this is another way of testing it. I have not used this yet today, so everything's been soaking. I'm just pulling the bazooka out for the first time. But, whoa, I don't know, for some reason that thing's moving. It shouldn't be moving up like that. All right, so what I can do is I can pump a little bit of mud in here. One, two, three. And somebody asked me too, how do you, how do you empty the bazooka? You still have mud in it. If you look at this little lever right here, you can zoom in. What you do is you open the, you open the trap door, but you don't take it off of this. So you don't let this engage. So you just leave that on just a little bit and then you should be able to spin this. And you see how easy this spins? And the mud's not really, really thin. It's still kind of sticking on here. It's not just pouring off like water. So this actually feels really good. I'm gonna use this mud here uh, to tape with. And that, those three pumps that I put in, they're done, they're out. So I'm gonna use this mud here to take with. The other thing I like to tell people is, um, if you ever looked at my, my videos on the mud runner, and you saw me, and you saw me running the mud runner, and how consistent that was, it's, it's, it's almost the same consistency. My mud runner mud, my mud runner mud, and my bazooka mud are almost identical. They're, they're, li they're about the same. But this is really important. Uh, if, if I am working in a house or a high traffic area where there's a lot of people around and people are walking through and I've got to keep it really neat and I can't have any mud on the floor or anything else, my mud's going to be a little heavier. 
it's going to run stiffer. I've got to be careful. It's, it's just going to be a heavier mud because that doesn't drip as much. But if I'm in a brand new, this is 60 some sheets. This is a, a 60 some sheet job. Uh, and I don't care. I can scrape and sweep. I don't have people walking through. I, I have full access to this entire edition. Nobody else is working here. It's just me. Uh, my mud's going to be a little thinner. And my, my uh, flat mud, the mud that I string my flats with, is going to be a little bit thicker than the mud I'm stringing my angles with. I like my mud that I'm stringing angles with a little bit thinner than my flat mud. So play with it. Honestly, if you're brand new with using one of these things, go back and forth, mix it too thin, mix it too thick, find out where you like it. It's what I did. I didn't have anybody telling me, oh, you mix it too thin, you mix it too thick. I just had to trial and error. Trial and error. Just, uh, just, just play with it. You guys have a good day. Hey, I'm just coming to you and saying if you really like these videos subscribe and if you really really like these videos share them with somebody else I also wanted to bring to your attention I'm coming out with a product that's called the drywall doctor first aid kit it's gonna have everything you need in here to do patches repair work um, holes in walls broken corner bead so you buy the repair kit you log in you follow the instructions to repair all of that stuff. And when you're all done with this, this is a lunch pail. It's an insulated lunch pail, so you can bring it to work. Uh, it'll have a little thing in here like this that you can mix mud in. And when you're done, you can carry sandwiches in and once you clean it, of course. Uh, but uh, I think it was a great idea. And uh, it's gonna be called the, the Drywall Doctor First Aid Kit. Um, I'm gonna have, uh, have it on Patreon really soon. I need support in order to put this together so I can market it and get it out there. So if you could help support me on Patreon, I would really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.